Is it worth it to try and become a construction manager in 2021? In this video, we're going to talk about the salaries of employed and self-employed construction managers. We're going to talk about the job market. Is the number of jobs for construction managers rising and projected to rise over time? And we're also going to talk about what kind of people should actually become a construction manager. But first, what is a construction manager? Construction managers plan, coordinate, budget, and supervise construction projects from start to finish. Some of these construction projects could include public buildings, residential, commercial, and industrial structures, as well as roads and bridges. Construction managers can oversee and manage carpenters, plumbers, electricians, HVAC contractors, and more. They prepare cost estimates, budgets, and work timetables, and they monitor the progress of a project. They also have to ensure that their projects comply with legal requirements, such as building and safety codes. The people that are attracted to this occupation tend to have the following in common. They tend to enjoy persuading people, managing people, and overseeing people. You definitely have to be a people person to do this occupation because you're going to be managing people from many different occupations. Another big factor is people that are attracted to this occupation tend to enjoy working with their hands. They tend to not be afraid of getting their hands dirty. So what kind of compensation can a construction manager expect? Construction managers have seen pretty solid wage growth over the years. In the year 2000, employed construction managers had a base salary of $63,290. This rose to about $95,000 in 2010, and then the Great Recession struck. Construction managers were hurt both in terms of number of jobs during the Great Recession, but also their wages dropped a little bit. In 2012, employed construction managers had a base salary of around $91,000 per year, and this rose to $107,000 per year in 2020. This gives us an average yearly wage growth for construction managers of around $2,100 per year. And these are employed construction managers, and it doesn't include overtime and other forms of compensation. If we were to apply this average yearly wage growth into the future, by 2025, the average base salary for a construction manager would be around $117,000 per year, and by 2030, around $130,000 per year for an employed construction manager. Geography also has a huge role in the compensation of construction managers. As you might expect, high cost of living areas tend to pay construction managers more than others. In 2020, the state of New Jersey, also known as the Garden State, tended to pay construction managers the greatest wage, with the average base salary of around $152,000 per year. The second highest paying state for construction managers is the Empire State, the state of New York where the average base salary was around $141,000 per year. Other high paying states include Delaware, California, and Hawaii. Construction managers also do pretty well compared to similar occupations. They tend to out earn civil engineers, building inspectors, architects, but they don't quite make as much as engineering managers. But here's the thing that not a lot of people talk about when it comes to construction managers. Around 38% of construction managers are self-employed and they aren't included in these numbers. There is not a lot of data on how much self-employed construction managers make year to year. But one guy on Reddit called Dog on 4th Street shares his experience. I'm an auditor and 90% of my work revolves around the construction business. I've met with construction companies of all shapes and sizes. It varies drastically. I've seen some owners lose a lot of money in a year, and I've seen some owners make over a million dollars in a year. Construction is just like any other industry. If you find a niche and become an expert in it, you can make a fortune. I have also heard of and met construction managers that own their own business and make well over $100,000 per year. Unfortunately, the Department of Labor and the IRS don't release how much money construction managers that own their own business tend to make. So that covers the compensation of construction managers, both self-employed and employed construction managers. But what is the job market like? Is it challenging to find a job as a construction manager in 2021? And what does the future hold? Will it continue to be a great occupation to go into into the future? The first thing to understand is this is actually a pretty big workforce. In the year 2020, the government recorded 285,640 employed construction managers across the country. And this doesn't include the 38 to 40% that are self-employed. So there are about as many construction managers as there are civil engineers. And there's vastly more construction managers than building inspectors, architects, and engineering managers. But definitely understand this, 
the number of employed has risen and fallen over the years. Some occupations, there's just been job growth over the past 20 years. Not so with construction managers. They kind of go up and down as the economy goes up and down. In the year 2000, there was 229,200 employed construction managers. This dipped to about 185,000 in 2004, rose and then dipped again in 2010. But by 2019, 2020, it's risen to a little over 280,000 employed. Despite the number of jobs rising and falling over the years, the government is actually pretty optimistic about the future job market of construction managers. They're predicting an 8% growth over the next 10 years. This would mean by 2030, there'd be around 309,000 employed construction managers across the country. As the US population grows and grows over time, there'll be a need for more residential housing, commercial housing, and public housing, such as schools, businesses, as long as the US population keeps rising. And not just that, for people that are trying to age in place, such as baby boomers, they're gonna want their homes renovated and made boomer friendly in a sense. So construction managers can also work on renovation sites as well. Another great chart to look at is the number of housing starts going back the past 20 years. During the Great Recession, very few housing was built. From 2008 to 2010, housing starts kind of bottomed out. But as you can see, since 2010, the number of housing starts has been rising year over year. And if this continues, there's gonna be more and more job opportunities for construction managers. Also keep in mind, there's a huge housing shortage right now in the United States. So this could lead to greater and greater job opportunities for construction managers. But what is going on right now? How many job postings are there for construction managers at this moment in time? Well, I went on Glassdoor, Indeed, and LinkedIn, and I searched for construction manager jobs across the United States. On Glassdoor.com, there was around 68,000 job postings. Indeed had around 17,000, and LinkedIn had a little over 73,000 job postings for construction managers. So based off the number of job postings right now, it really appears like there's a little bit of a shortage of construction managers at this moment in time. And where are all these jobs? Where are all the construction managers employed across the United States? They're in the US states you would most expect. The state of Texas in 2020 had the greatest number of employed construction managers at around a little over 40,000 employed construction managers just in the state of Texas. California, also known as the Golden State, came in second with around 31,000 employed construction managers. So things are definitely looking up for construction managers in terms of salaries and compensation, but also in terms of job market. There seems to be a lot of opportunity for construction managers at this point in time. So as you can see, it's definitely worth it to become a construction manager in 2021, provided the occupation is suitable for your interests and your personality. And fun fact, the most likely Myers-Briggs personality type to become a construction manager is the ENTJ, also known as the commander. So if you take a Myers-Briggs personality test and you find out that you're also an ENTJ, this occupation might be compatible with your personality. If you enjoyed this video, definitely also check out my civil engineering video. There's a lot of overlap between construction managers and civil engineers. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.